Brianna, Governor Murphy's office today announced guidelines to ensure New Jersey companies are in compliance with the Equal Pay Act. The rules cover a broad range of conduct. For example, rather than equal pay for equal work, the law requires equal pay for substantially similar work. It prohibits retaliation against an employee for discussing compensation in any capacity and increases penalties for employers who fail to comply to three times the monetary damages awarded to the plaintiff. The Institute for Supply Management released its Manufacturing Index report for February. It showed growth in the sector, but at a slower rate than in January. Employment grew, but only by a fraction of a percentage point. The overall economy hit 130 months of continuous growth. That's nearly 11 years. But the supply chain across several manufacturing sectors has been disrupted by the coronavirus, specifically items that are sourced in China. When factories in China shut down, obviously, Eventually, we will feel the effect of it regarding the pharmaceutical industry, which a lot of it is in New Jersey and is New Jersey based. Um, I think that's where the, the state itself will feel probably the biggest uh, impact. Amtrak has named William Flynn its new president and chief executive officer today. Flynn is the former CEO of the global air freight company Atlas Air Worldwide. He's joining the company at a time when Amtrak is experiencing record levels of ridership and revenues and could potentially eliminate its operating losses for the first time ever. Flynn is slated to start in mid-April. Facebook is suing the New Jersey-based analytics company One Audience, claiming it illegally accessed users' personal data, like usernames, gender, and email addresses while they shopped or used game apps. Facebook claims One Audience did the same to Google and Twitter accounts. One Audience says the data, quote, was never intended to be collected, never added to our database, and never used. Facebook wants One Audience subjected to an audit and banned from accessing its accounts and servers. The markets rebounded in a big way today with the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P posting their biggest one-day point gains on record. But analysts warn this could be a temporary surge. And those are your top business stories.